it's nice to greet you. I hope to be fine. I am the Roy Fernando Isaac, Head Row in Java Ministries. We are transmitting from Victoria, Tamaulipas, Mexico for all the world. It's nice to me receive you in this new transmission. Welcome to the program Seeds of Fate, a deep impact program and huge blessings for all people who have made the decision to transform his life. If you are tired to keep the same problems with the same tribulations, with no changes, no improves, Tide of false optimism, but you want to work on yourself, if you want to change, provoke a real transitions in your life, if you want to elevate, make connection with Elohim, then Seeds of Faith is a program designed to belong to a white piece of artillery that comes from heaven, and it has been done to have a ministry to lead to all the children of Hashem directly to His feet, free them, heal them, restore them, bless them, abundate them, multiply them, stabilize them, balance them, and give them eternal life. A good life here, and a wonderful eternal life by Yeshua HaMashiach. This is a great blessing. This is for the web. This is not for everyone. This is for people who want to transition, who want to rise, to conquer, who really wants to promote a revolution of faith in their life, as we are doing here in Hava Ministries. A messianic congregation that has provoked a strong and deep impact in the region that we are. We are hitting the falsies that have come out from Rome and we are spreading the true faith which leads to the person to be free, to connect with the Creator. If you are a person willing to work on himself, who wants to conquer, who wants to rise, si tú eres una persona que está dispuesta a trabajar en sí misma, que quiere salir adelante, que quiere elevarse y que quiere conquistar... We are about three years now. We have transmitted through this program how to exercise your faith and how to obtain results. And we, and believe me, if you are a steady person, dedicated, compromised, and puts into action everything we have told at this point, you are already someone else. If you are not, it is because you have not worked in yourself. But if you are a new follower who has barely made it to our teachings and videos, I welcome you and invite you to take these teachings and get to work. I led you to tell me what you want if your life does not change. That size is the challenge I make to you now. I am so sure what we are teaching, that you will make a real transition. I took the opportunity to send a greeting to all the friends and supporters around the world, from the north of North American continent to Patagonia in Argentina. We also greet Europe in the Iberian Peninsula, and we salute to all ships' greetings. I send you the blessings. Receive the blessings, please, that eternal bless your life abundantly. Write to our email, havaministriesgmail.com. Visit uh, our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. There are all our teachings. Take advantage of them. I also want to invite you, if you are in another country or another city in Mexico, and you want to be part of our congregation, if you want to send you to our coverage of our congregation until you are, send us your information to add you to our congregational registry, which will be a great blessing for your life. I assure you, we are a serious, firm, and solid congregation afraid of Hashem. Today we have a wonderful edition called Fate of Results. Fate that works. Well, we are going to start this good teaching. We have the good bread, good wine, and good oil at your disposal. Okay, fate. The seat of fate. 
Faith is a spiritual substance that is translated into power that if you know how to use it, everything will be possible for you. Everything absolutely will be possible for you. And the key to access at these blessings, it is Yeshua HaMashiach, only by Him. Let me explain you something very important. Faith is a spiritual substance with which the eternal God has enabled us. And therefore, it is a resource that must be taken advantage of so the giver of our faith who is our God is satisfied with that he has given us he is the owner of us and everything we have in our hands the eternal is the true owner and everything that God gives you and that is part of the stock of your physical spiritual and soul possessions as well as the faith all these given things have a purpose we have to give an account to God of what we are doing with the faith that it gave that is why the eternal is very aware of our prayers how much faith we are asking how much faith we are praying don't confuse faith with fervor if we are really making good use of our faith, we will inevitably have much free that is what Yeshua has asked us. Much free that we have much fruit. And, and that fruit, the only way to obtain it is through the faith, only the faith, without carnality. The owner of our faith, or Elohim, ask us to count on the faith, ask us to count on the faith that he has assigned us, so that we can adapt to difficulties, faith challenges, conquer of our lives, generate stability, generate balance, generate abundance for ourselves and others, and in this way, impact the world and be light in this world, also with the generation of results. In this way, Hashem adds more faith to us to continue generating more and more fruits. How blessings. Don't you think that? I don't know if you have already heard Pedro's story when he was in the water. Our Savior says that if we base our life in the rock that is on him, the waters and the winds can come and hit us. We will not fall. Well, let me tell you that this teaching of Mashiach was reflected in Peter's life. When he was on the boat, that in the middle of the water, when the wind suddenly hit with force, suddenly they saw Jesus floating on the water, and all of them and scared and said, Oh, it's a ghost! Pedro said to him, Master, if it's you, send me to come to you. Then Yeshua said to him, Pedro comes, and suddenly Pedro begins to walk on the water. Suddenly, suddenly remember the story how the winds came and the water came and beat it with force in a such a way that Pedro was afraid. Peter fearing he disconnected from his faith and from the Mashiach and sink in the water and sunk in the water. He screamed and asked Jesus to save him. Yeshua later reproached him. Yeshua later reproached him for his poor faith. The same can happen with all the people who faith is weakened. It is very easy to say that we are of a great faith, a woman of faith, a man of faith, and then, and then, 
vienen los bien un programa de cada ministerio. Un programa from cada ministerio, ministerio it is not a real program without the cup of coffee. We can say that we have a lot of faith, but when the winds and waters come and, and hit our lives strongly, we can get work and we can sing. And do you know why this happened? This is a call an inconvenient hypersensitivity of the interferences that are in the environment and that not let you set your sight on the goal that you want to achieve. Therefore, this spiritual hypersensitivity of the soul, therefore, this spiritual, almighty, this spiritual hypersensitivity, therefore, can be presented in your soul and in your mind, and it can deviate you from your goal, from your life, from your wishes. Under these circumstances, we can be discouraged, we can be angry, we can get frustrated, and we can even blaspheme against God because things don't arrive or because we are sunk. Pedro got out of the boat and entered to dangerous Syria, call it water. He did it because he had faith, but when he deviated his faith from the Mashiach due to his sensitivity to the environment, he was when he fell. It was when he sunk. Remember from our previous teachings that the faith has enemies, fear, mistrust, uncertainty. What do you think of this? Do you like it? I hope it will be a great blessing and reasoning for your life. You can get angry and get frustrated because what you ask does not come into your life. You can get angry and frustrated because things do not come into your life. There are problems that generate pain, disability, health problems, in many other cases legal problems, lawsuits, discussions, mistreatment. If you are receiving these things, I will tell you something. I want to tell you something. Do not be foolishly sensitive to this stimuli that problems generate. Do not let this situation sink you because otherwise you will not generate the results that Hashem expects. If Hashem has given you that measure that you have, that you have today, it is because with that measure you will achieve great things. And if you want to achieve great things and do not have the necessary faith, Hashem adds it to you. But you have to learn how to use the faith that you have today to gradually achieve smaller than medium and then large fruits, exponential logarithmic, and abundant fruits little by little from less to more. Remember that. In Matthew 13, verse 31 to 32, it says as follows. Another parable he put forth to them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed it in his field, which indeed is that least, is it, which indeed is the least of all the seeds. But when it is grown, it is greater than the herb and becomes a tree, so that bear of the air come and nest in its branches. You know what thing? The faith given to us, it is also like a monster seed. Joshua said it. So, you have to learn how to use your faith. You must go from generating fruits from a vegetable to a tree, because a tree bears more fruits than a vegetable. A tree is taller than a vegetable. A tree is stronger. A tree has stronger roots than a hostel. 
So, your face should not be like a vegetable in terms of words. This kind of faith must to intervene in all the areas of your life. This is what it means ramifications. That is, how many areas in your life it has, all of them will be benefited of your growing faith. As a constant, an outward faith, always adding, always adding, remember that, always multiplying, always, always more, always high, high, more, more, and more. We will call it to that with the faith that has given to us, a faith of results, a faith that is privileged with greater fruits and greater faith and therefore greater glorifications of the Father through the Mashiach. Yeshua said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it so the Father may be glorified in the Son. Amen. So, my friend, if your faith has not given you much, I consider that it's time for you to reflect on this teaching and get to work and strengthen your faith. Dare to believe. In Hama Ministries, we are making the revelation of the faith. Join us. I say goodbye to you now without first sending the blessing as far as you are. Write, write us. Leave us your comments. See you next month on the more program of Seeds of Faith. Shalom.